Trump vindicated, look where relief supplies were found. Although Hurricanes Irma and Harvey were less costly regarding death toll and damage thanks to the preparedness of the Trump administration, Puerto Rico wasn't as fortunate. Instead of blaming themselves, however, some of the leadership of the devastated territory is playing politics instead. Despite the mayor of San Juan criticizing President Trump for ignoring the suffering of his people, the truth seems to be quite the opposite, according to the Gateway Pundit. American aid is sitting in a warehouse, rotting, and the leaders in PR are so inept that they can't even get people to the ports to pick up the supplies. The everyday workers aren't to be blamed. Rather, it's the managers, leaders, and politicians who should be carrying the responsibility on their shoulders. Mayor Carmen Ewing Cruz had issued an emotional plea for help on Friday, while criticizing Trump's response to the situation, saying that, you are killing us with the inefficiency of the distribution process. However, it appears the real source of the problem lies at the local level, rather than federal. Drivers from the Teamsters Union are not showing up to work as they are not permitted to act because the union is on strike at the moment. With only one-fifth of drivers arriving at the ports to distribute the supplies, over 9,500 containers filled with aid haven't been moved since they arrived. One person tweeted a lengthy message outlining the situation, saying, Did Mayor of San Juan mention union workers at port are on strike and demanding money first before distributing supplies off boat? Colonel Mike Alevale the leader of the Hurricane Maria relief efforts, made it public knowledge that the problem isn't federal, but rather, a problem with local distribution in Puerto Rico. It's a lack of drivers for the transport trucks, the 18-wheelers. Supplies we have. Trucks we have. There are ships full of supplies, backed up in the ports, waiting to have a vehicle to unload into, he said. However, only 20% of the truck drivers show up to work. These are private citizens in Puerto Rico, paid by companies that are contracted by the government, Vale concluded. Despite there being great need for these goods, there is such a stark deficiency in the logistical support that it's almost impossible for these goods to get into the hands of those who need them most. In addition to the shortage of drivers, a diesel crisis is plaguing the island as well. At the moment, Distributing fuel across Puerto Rico is FEMA's number one priority to help relieve the supply bottleneck issue, according to NPR. Conservative commentator Kurt Schilling also acknowledged this fact. I've talked to politicians in both states, Texas and Florida, and the governor of Puerto Rico. All have said that the president did everything in a pace that they've never seen before as far as him releasing money and releasing assets into these theaters. The execution on the ground has been horrifying in some cases, he said. In contrast to the San Juan mayor's comments, the governor of Puerto Rico ended up praising Trump as well, saying, Every time we've asked them to execute, they've executed quickly, according to Briet Bart. As is usually the case, the mainstream media's depiction is in contrast to the reality of the situation. The Trump administration has done all it can to alleviate the situation. The blame instead rests on the mid- and upper-level leaders within the island whose response has been less than stellar. Stellar.